Hey everyone, it's me again, All Things Wonderful, and I'm back, kicking off a new video, nice and fresh for you guys. But first, before we get started, we're going to take those deep breaths in and out while meditating. Some of y'all don't like the word meditating while breathing in and out to soaking in his presence. Okay, we're going to do this for just about two minutes and then I'm going to begin my message. Okay. So, you know what? I was kind of contemplating on the title of this topic today. I started off and I was pretty convinced that darkness to light was going to be the title. But then after... Speaking with the Most High and being guided by the Holy Spirit, I ended on the season of rising above the chaos by all things wonderful. I landed on season of rising above the chaos. And for those who are highly spiritually enlightened and those who have awakened to the most high and the truth um you would agree with me on this that this is the season of rising above the chaos and of course darkness coming to the light so let's dive deeper into that So darkness is now being revealed and is coming into the light. Um, this is of course done by the most high. This is a season of judgment, you know, and in this time, of I, what I've realized, I don't know about you, but what I've realized is a lot of things are being revealed now for those who have been awakened for a while um it's just really confirmation for a lot of us um but a lot of things are just blatantly out in the open you guys let's just be honest um people are not trying to sugarcoat or hide you know their ideals um, and their beliefs and, you know, their attitudes towards, you know, other individuals, yourselves, you know. And that's just all a part of the process, right? This is all biblical. You know, we saw what happened at, well, I didn't see what happened, but I heard what happened 
at the Grammys and the Oscars and all that um, jazz and what's happening with, you know, these concerts and everything. Everything's just out in the open, you know, and for somebody like me who I do appreciate the truth, I appreciate it. It helps me out tremendously that people are finally just being honest and open. That's the first step. That's the first step, you know, and so I am actually very grateful about it, you know. Is it disappointing to see the numbers? Yes, it is. Am I completely taken aback about it? Am I surprised? No, because I could see it. Um, I could, you know, I, I saw this. I've been seeing this, you know, so I'm not shocked about the numbers of people who are choosing to follow Satan. I'm simply not. But I'm happy to experience that there is progress. To me, this is progress, that people are actually being open and honest um, with everyone, not trying to sugarcoat it, not trying to hide it, you know, but just saying, you know, just saying this is what I choose, you know, because when you, when you do that, then you can move on to the next step, you know, which is truly judgment, you know, for the unrighteous. And so, like I was saying, like I said in my past video, that when in season of breakthroughs, when I said that, you know, this is a season for breakthroughs, it is. In many ways, it is. We are now seeing the, the darkness having to come to the light. Um, you know, I'm gonna give you an example um, of just the other day at my internship, there was a case manager and you know i was directing the client to his office and instead of just saying wait one minute you know putting up the one sign for hold on he put up the satanic gesture and in some videos i spoke about that too like i was seeing more people using these gestures where i wouldn't have recognized it before now i notice it so much more and I used to be offended, you know, at first I, I felt like I'm, I was offended. I was like, are you throwing up this satanic sign at me? Are you serious? Like, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to curse me? Like, I just did not know. And even still, it doesn't matter because now that my awareness is heightened, my knowledge and my understanding has grown. Now when they do it, I don't necessarily feel threatened. I feel happy. So now i know how to go about you now i know how to maneuver around you now i know what you're all about right so that that to me is a breakthrough i don't know about for you guys but that to me is a breakthrough now now i, I feel like i can work with something that people aren't just trying to hide it you know what i'm saying y'all know what i'm saying y'all true the true awakening they they get it they know what i mean by that you know because we like the truth, don't we? So some people may agree with me on this. Some people may not. And simply, I don't care either way how you feel about it. But I also spoke about this in the past videos. And for those who are new and for those who haven't been on my channel in a while, I advise you to go back and look at all my past videos. I might just go ahead and just start re-releasing some videos that I feel that are very pertinent to the times now and were pertinent then, you know? So um, I may go ahead and do that since I simply just don't have the time to be on here as much as I'd like. But in a past video, I spoke about COVID-19 when it had just um, been revealed to the world and um, I said well if if these numbers are true if, if that many people actually did pass away from COVID-19 because at that point in time I simply just couldn't believe a word that was coming out of the news's mouth honestly um, I didn't believe the statistics that they were producing because 
I was simply going through that that part of the awakening when I, when I felt like they were all all lies, you know. And I do still feel that way, but um yeah. So if the numbers are true about COVID-19 and that many people actually did die from COVID-19, I felt like, you know, it was part of the rapture. Now, some people are completely in denial about that. Um, they just simply don't want to believe it. They they feel like oftentimes that if it was a rapture, they would have been raptured up or it would have been much more of a catastrophe. Like there, there wouldn't literally be hardly if anybody left the liar. Um, and you know, that could still be the case, you know, um, the most I didn't put a, a time stamp on how long the rapture would last. And I do feel like that was the beginning stages is the beginning stages of the rapture in a lot of ways. I feel like a lot of people who the most high felt like would not have been strong enough or, you know, felt like, yeah, they've done the work or it was their time, you know, um, they may have been raptured up in that, in that season. And then the soldiers, the ones, the most high has chosen and called to be used in this time who he felt like will really do him real justice in these specific times you know he's left you know and we are the light bearers like i said and it's it's not too many of us left you know it's not many of us many are called few are chosen right and we are the chosen ones we are the true chosen the ones that are still left here fighting and we have to be appreciative of that. We got to feel like we are something because we are something. We should feel like that's a huge, um, gift, you know, that the most high has entrusted us in this time to, to be the light bears for the, um, for those and for other individuals like ourselves. So yeah, I feel like the rapture is continuing to happen, you know, um, still a lot of natural catastrophes, a lot of man-made catastrophes. I mean, you name it, you know, it's, it's gone on, went on and it's still going on. But this is simply Yah's judgment. And if you have a relationship, like I have a relationship with Yah, I trust that you'll be all right because literally I don't know about you guys but mm, my last semester that had to be from September 2022 to December 2022 it was really rough um I felt like I just wasn't catching any breaks and I just knew I knew I was just like yeah this must be a trial this must be a test. And um, sure enough, after I did that that um, video of season of breakthroughs, you know, I really did have a breakthrough. And it feels like now, you know, I feel like secure, you know? I feel like The Most High definitely has my back. And, you know, I feel like I aced the test, you know? I feel like I aced the test a few months ago. And so now I'm reaping the rewards. And I feel like, and I hope that this is 
also the season for you guys, the season of reaping your rewards. So just a brief over overview and that food looks so good. I don't know about you guys, but I like breakfast even though I don't eat breakfast a lot. When I do eat breakfast, I simply love breakfast. Um, and that's just a fun fact. But um, yeah, I'm gonna just end it off with, yeah. Right now we're in a, the season of rising above the chaos. Um, everything that's been done in the dark is coming to the light and will continue to come to the light it is becoming less surprised less surprising for the true chosen uh for myself particularly i appreciate them being so forthcoming it helps in a lot of ways move things along and yeah i think i'm gonna just i'm gonna leave it there um it's been great doing this video and i'm sending y'all much love peace blessings light on this beautiful day shalom <laughs>